Hi Aquarius, welcome to your August 2019 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. You know, it's funny because I, I right before I recorded this, I went, oh, because I actually scooped up the cards. I had put them out last night and I didn't finish the reading. And so this is a whole new, I was going to say can of worms, but you know what I mean. This is a whole new reading for you, so... Maybe that's good. I love that depiction of the hangman. This is the um, Wild Unknown Tarot. Okay. I have an interesting thing to talk about with the world card because of the what is coming up astrologically for you. So, um, the hangman is about being in suspension for some reason. And who knows why that would be. Perhaps there is some kind of um, job that you're waiting for you're, to hear a word from, or a person that you are interested in and you exchange numbers and you want that person to take the make the next move or what have you, something along those lines. But sometimes uh, the hangman can be, okay, I've done this, I've done that, and nothing seems to be working. And then finally, it's almost like peace comes over you. And you say, you know what, I don't need to try to make this happen anymore. I'm going to be content with whatever comes my way. In other words, you're not... Um, trying to force an issue, uh, in other, <laughs> I'm not going to say in other words again, but um, meaning surrender, meaning not giving up, but not trying to push the issue either. In the past position, we have the Ten of Wands, which is a card maybe of overwork, of trying too hard on your end, like taking responsibility for something that belongs to somebody else. So um, this could even be, uh, although I don't see other cards that support it, but let's say you're with somebody who has an addiction and, or maybe it's a child, God forbid, that must be the worst of all, but um, a um, some loved one who has an addiction and you have tried and and because the Ten of Wands may be, you know, trying to do everything you can in your power to keep all the balls in the air, you know, to keep life functioning, uh, to, you know, to keep their life still functioning uh, so that they don't lose their job or they don't get kicked out of school or um, face the consequences or, of their actions, actually. Um, that's one of the reasons why they have a thing called tough love is because it's allowing the person to have to deal with the consequences of their actions and not rush in to uh, try to make things better. And with the Ten of Wands in the workplace, this can be like... Um, Trying to, like, either, you know, trying to impress the boss or be that indispensable person who always is there to cover for other people. I had an experience like this. I shared it on here, but I'm not sure what sign I shared it with, where I was, I knew that, because um, I hadn't been in the workplace for a long time, and I and I said to myself, well, the one thing I can do is is um, kind of fill in for other people. So when I, whenever somebody wanted to take a weekend, this was retail, so uh, we were working potentially seven days a week. I mean, we, we could work any of those days. And I would always be the one, you know, if somebody had to go to a wedding or just uh, whatever. And the person who I worked with, who was kind of selfish in that way, he just happened to be an Aries. I'm just bringing that up. Um, <laughs> no, uh, nothing uh, important about that little piece of information. Um, and he just was like out for number one, Aries, first house, right? He got more respect than I did. And I 
I could see this. I could see this energetically. Uh, I didn't form a concept of it until later on because I really saw that he was treated better than I was. And the thing about it is that when you do things like this, you may be doing it for the right reasons because you may be just wanting to do it, not because you want to manipulate other people, but they have to come to the table too. It's important for for there to be mutuality. Uh, when it's one-sided, it's never a good situation. Um, and especially if you have expectations, because the hangman to me is that you're expecting something to come of a particular thing that you've done, some decision that is made. Um, you may feel like... Um, you're being controlled by somebody else's decision. So let's say this is uh, somebody has promised to leave their husband or wife. Uh, you've, you know, you're seeing them and you just feel guilty about being part of a, an extramarital affair and you uh, give them a, uh, you know, like a, an ultimatum. Or maybe it's not that you feel guilty. You just like don't like the fact that they are splitting their time between you and somebody else and you give them an ultimatum and yet you're the one sitting there waiting they're continuing on with their life and um so to me if it was some situation like that i would say it would be more like detachment and accepting the truth of the situation The higher message is the Six of Pentacles. I always say this is getting what you are worth. Pentacles relate to dollars and cents. They can sometimes relate to inheritance or uh, receiving money from another person, which they often will call charity because of the, the position of the other person having the, the means to give you something. Um, however, it may simply be that you are... Um, allowing yourself to to receive. I don't think in this case it's that. I think it would be more like in the workplace that you are um, selling yourself short, okay? And you, well, I guess you could say in any scenario, even in relationships, selling yourself short. Um, that you deserve more than you're asking for yourself. What crosses you is the world card. Um, what I was going to bring up earlier, I was talking about the fact that we're having a full moon in Aquarius on the 15th of August. So that's kind of like the world card where it's like endings, you know, kind of wrap up. But this is in the challenged position. So you may not want to end a particular situation. You may not be ready for... Um, a new phase, whether it's a new job, a new relationship. And by the way, especially with the new relationship, I'm not saying go from one relationship to the other either, but ending a relationship. You may be like in denial over it and think that if you just wait it out, things will change. If somebody has a problem and you are like, I know that if I am patient that they're going to change, you may end up waiting a very long time. For, um, I, I often hear or read about fixed signs being very stubborn. So the fixed signs are you, Leo, your opposite sign, Taurus, and its opposite sign, Scorpio. And Taurus is the one that always gets the brunt of this, but all the fixed signs can be stubborn. But Another possibility is loyalty. Now, sometimes loyalty is masked um, fear of change, maybe. Maybe it's not that the person is that happy in the relationship, but they just don't want to have to go through a new relationship. Um, in some cases, it's not so much that the person may be stubborn, or another side of that uh, attitude of stubbornness can be somebody who's patient 
and is capable of waiting it out. But even those types of people, eventually, they see so much time going by and they finally say, you know what, I really, maybe they even say I blew it. I, I, I should have left a long time ago. So most of you will be watching this before the 15th of August. So just think about that. Think about if you are coming to an end in one way of life, if you're going to fight it tooth and nail, if you're going to just like totally reject anything about change for your life. And where will that get you? And this is about, you know, too, with the world card, it's like closure. It's the last card of the major arcana. So uh, for some people, you may be having problems graduating and sealing the deal. Maybe you, you um, have to take a course over to get that over the credit, um, to get your full credits or something like that. Because the world card can be graduation day or some kind of travel issue that is not gelling for you at this time. But remember that it might just be timing issue. The advice or what's coming in is represented by the Four of Wands. This is a card of domestic bliss, of feeling like a lot of um, excitement about something home related. This could be a new home. This could be marriage. So perhaps the the hangman is waiting for that time um, when somebody's coming back from overseas um like if they're in the military or something along those lines where they are uh, separated from you, but you are planning your future together. This is a very happy type of a, a vibe to it. So the other thing, you know, this could even just be purchasing a home on your own. Maybe you're waiting for, Maybe the hangman is waiting for that um, to go through. Remember that we've recently had a Mercury retrograde. So this is going to affect contracts. Okay. Uh, so for some people who have been trying to purchase a home or something along those lines, or, you know, I, I mentioned something about school. Maybe your diploma didn't get, sent, get lost in the mail or something. Um, but uh, the home... The domestic side of life being featured in August for you. Let me see if there's any astrological. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's interesting because your fourth house, Aquarius, is Taurus. And that is going to see probably a lot of changes in the next however many years. I guess it's about seven or so where you may have a lot of twists and turns. Uh, maybe you move frequently in the next seven years. And even if you buy a house and think, okay, this is it, this is my home base, then you end up having to sell it very quickly. because And this could have something to do with your career, that you're very, um, I was going to say nomadic, but I was thinking of another word, where you're just, um, you're not settled in one geographic location and maybe that's the world card too in the challenge position that because you're traveling so much that does affect things affects relationships and affects um, the ability to create a home base the outcome is a justice card um, this is a card of fairness so with the six of pentacles perhaps you there was a maybe this was an inheritance issue and um, you have it definitely uh, towards the end of, of August, there will be planets in the 8th house, which connect to other people's money, including inheritance issues. Uh, you will see Mars going there and Venus, and that Mars can even have that kind of like a fight, a conflict about shared resources. But you will see justice according to this card. And um, 
It's funny, um, as I had noted with another sign, the Justice card in this deck is number 8. Usually it's number 11, like in Rider Waite it's number 11. And the Strength card is number 8. So it's funny, here I get the Justice card in this particular deck and it's 8, and the 8th house is shared resources. So it could be something along those lines. Um, maybe this is a house issue. Maybe that's why I'm getting the Four of Wands. That there's a, that you and siblings perhaps are fighting over some kind of uh, property. And um, so who knows? But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this Aquarius. If you'd like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.